Welcome to Books and Beyond. Uh, my name is Jimmy Bennett. I'll be your host. Uh, Books and Beyond is a show where I hope to help people personify their aspirations. I'm going to chew on that for a little bit. A um, couple quick announcements to start. Um, number one, I want to put a shout out to the Guard Theater. Uh, they hosted the CAPA, the Connecticut Authors and Publishers Association, allowed us to uh, present our books and do book signings uh, during their winter cinema series. Uh, it was a beautiful venue. The Guard Theater has been revamped in absolutely gorgeous place. Um, very comfortable, and the staff was just wonderful. Uh, big shout out to Jean. Um, and uh, actually, I hope to have her on my show in a few months. Uh, so uh, we'll talk more about that. But uh, I really want to thank him. And I want to put a shout out to the boys at uh, Biles Funeral Home for John K for allowing me to. Uh, Parked my car there, made it a lot easier for me to haul my 50, 60 pounds of books back and forth. I appreciate it very much. Um, so today I have a very special guest. It was uh, kind of a funny story. Uh, I started a job at McQuaid's. Um, I'm downstairs. I'm working. I'm standing next to a man. Uh, very nice, generous man. Helped me out a lot when I first started. Showed me the ropes. And uh, we got to talking. And he tells me he's an artist. And he showed me some pictures, and I realized he was a great artist. So today, I'm very pleased to introduce Leonardo Hara. Welcome, Leonardo. Thank, Thank you, you so for much for coming James. on the show. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, um, Leonardo. Um, now you came. You were born. I was born in Ecuador, uh, 1974, and I came to this country about 20 years ago, 2005, and. Start working, working, and I really, really want to keep going in my art um, and I start painting. Actually, since I come here to this country, so is that when, now? When did you start really seriously painting? Well, after I finished high school in 1991, I go two years in college and do some art in there, and after that, um, decide to come to this country and give me the opportunity to start working here. So, I. This is actually when I start, but basically my 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 feelings to painting start see my dad. He's an artist also, so I get from him. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, that's great. That's that's a nice situation. Mm -hmm. Now, does your father was your father always a painter? Was that his? Uh, was he an artist for a living, or did he? Actually, he has um, he's been painting for the last 40, 50 years. He also go to the school for art in Ecuador. And he started his business, screen printing, and for many years. And after that, I would say the last 10 years, he oh, oh, now is just dedicated to painting. Oh, OK. All right. Mm -hmm. That's great. Now, Leonardo also is uh, he's, he's accredited. Uh, he's been in a few shows. Uh, he was at the Watermark Cafe, right, 2005? That's right. That was my first show was in 2005. I did my first um, exhibition to um, uh, local community there, and they went very well. After that, in 2006, um, my friend, she also artist, she asked me to give a shot to Mystic Art. So I present uh, one of those my paintings, and um, I get so excited because I got my second place in one of those art. So that was nice, perfect. Very good. That was pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's great. So, um, what is the process with painting? I mean, do you do you still paint now? Okay. Yes. Um, basic. Be far away from my house, from my home, from my family, from my friends. Uh, remind me so much when I see pictures, I see um, all the things I haven't done before there and just remind me to keep my memories and I translate my memories in, in the paintings. Right. So this is basically what I like to do in my free time, when I have free time. Yeah. <laughs> you know how this, I yeah. got to work so much here, but yep. uh, when I have my, my free time, I just um, try to remember and try to see things and um, see some pictures and just Put in right. the canvas. That's how I do. That's great. That's yeah. great, and it's it's important. I think you know it's great that you uh, that you keep it alive because it's hard. It's hard, man, with children and work and mortgages and no, life. Absolutely, and, absolutely. It's you know, hard. Uh, yeah. it's hard to uh, keep your focus and keep going. Um, but that's what you know. That's what makes it so special when you you know when you finish it something. Is. It is. Now, tell me something about this picture behind us All right, here. This picture called the Cathedral is uh, in Cuenca, where I come from, from Cuenca, Ecuador. Uh, so this is one of those more um, 
uh, church, very traditional there. Uh, people love to go there because it's one of those uh, bigger than the city. Um, I like this pincho be because they have the, all the cupels and the, and the tap is, a, is a, a lot of color in there. And uh, just remind me going there um, before I come here also, I was a musician, so I went to different church and help to the chorus. And one, this one of those church I went to yep. for a couple of times and help for the ceremonies and yep. the mass. And you know, we should, we should talk about that a little bit too. You are a musician. Yes, I am. Uh, what do you play? <laughs> well, I play guitar. I play a little bit of bass. It's also, I play an instrument called requinto. It's more for music like uh, boleros from Mexico, Latin music. Really? I'm, I'm, what is it? Yeah, it's a requinto. is a small um, size of the guitar. It's tuned a little high. Yeah. And I learned that one since I was 15 years old. Oh, and uh, I really, really enjoy. Uh, I have a couple of bands when I started my shows over there playing with the different bands in the high school and all yes. that kind of stuff. It's just, I've been around the music. My family is also very good M musicians in there. I have so many cousins and uncles. They oh, no really, really good, good musicians, yeah. Do you still play? You I still still playing. Um, actually, in 2002, I was uh, finally charged to join. Um, and I went to St. Mary's in New London, where I was uh, for a couple of years there. And the father Rob, and that time he was a priest over there. He gave me the chance to be um, a director for the chorus in St. Mary's. So I was there for a couple of years. Oh, all right. But like I said, for job situation, I have to leave Sunday so I cannot go anymore. But I still playing music. Sometimes I do um, guitar lessons. People ask me, a couple of friends. Oh, and, all right. And I do a couple of things like that too in that's, my free time. That's yeah. great. That is <laughs> yeah. really great. I never. Uh, one thing, I just, <laughs> I just don't have that music uh, aptitude. I love it, but I, yeah. I just don't have that aptitude for yeah. it. Um, so um, what we want to do right now is we want to show uh, some of your paintings. I'd like you to tell yeah. me a little bit Absolutely. about it. Yeah. Um, if we can get one up on the screen. All right. Uh, this is a painting. It's a fruit uh, seller. So you can see it's a lady there. Um, they It's very popular. This, this is from years, years ago. Maybe this is a picture about maybe 20, 25 years ago, and uh, they go into tricycles and start selling fruits in the corners. You can see a lot of those in different corners in the downtown in the city. So uh, it's very popular there. People coming and just grab it and go, and it's very popular. Nice. Nice, okay. All right, this is a lady um, in a little shop. She has uh, some corn. She's putting up the, the corn and she's just getting ready to sell it. And also you can see in the back is a pot. So she's got to cook some too and just very traditional in that part of my area where I come from. Now she, she would, she, they actually, she would cook the food there and sell it? In both ways. She can cook and sell it that way or she, she only just take care of the parts and just sell it uncooked. So she got two different ways to, to do that. And like I say, uh, one more time, it's just um, remind me, go to the markets and see people like this, and just back to my memories. Right. Go to the market with my mom when I was a little boy and help her with the, take care of the basket and help her out. Yeah. So that kind of stuff is just a lot of memories in my That's in my it's, it's good. You've got a lot of feeling into your work. You can see it, too. You know, it's, uh, um, I just like that. I just like that picture, the concentration she has, you know, working on her corn and, you know, um, it's a lot of nice colors, good detail. Oh, thank you um, I got, I'm not an art expert, <laughs> but I, I know what I like. <laughs> it's yeah. good. All right. Well, let's have, let's look, take another one. All right. This church, um, my city Cuenca is very uh, popular because it has so many churches in the area. It's like uh, in two blocks, you can find three different churches. It's just amazing how many, I would say 95% of the population is located Catholic there. Yeah. So uh, everybody goes to church on Sundays and after church, for example, this one, this called the Plaza de las Flores is um, also in Cuenca. So um, it's very traditional here. People go around, especially for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, just go and buy flowers and decorate the house. So, this park is open every single day, uh, seven days a week. Um, 
And also in the bottle, you can see the painting is uh, people selling a little bit of fruit. So they kind of combine not just flowers, so they can sell so many things there and where they can do it. Do they have a survive. market here every day? They did. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's, so very, it's just very, like a nice open air market where you can go correct. down and uh, yeah, find yeah. various things. And yeah, and nice and fresh. Everything is fresh. And Cuenca, Ecuador is one of those more. Um, countries, they export the flowers here to America, all different parts of the, the world, so it's very, very good quality. And ah, yeah. all right. That's beautiful, but that's, uh, and that's, what's the name of that church? In the that background? church uh, is called Plaza de las Flores. Uh, el, the church, the name is Santuario del Carmen, is the name to the, actually, the church, but the flower sea is called Plaza de las Flores. Ah, nice. The flowers market. Nice, okay. All right, uh, this is kind of special painting. Um, I find um, this picture and I just want to transport to the canvas and have in my room, actually, this painting. <laughs> uh, this is the bridge. Um, uh, this bridge, I went down for six years every day when I go to high school. The high school is located a couple blocks from the bridge, so I got to walk through every single day and just remind me how how important for me was uh, friends and family there because it's a lot of histories in, in, the, in that bridge and in that way to high school after we don't class, go back home and just have so many friends with me walking. Over there is no much, um, in that time when I talk about like in 1990s, uh, no, everybody had a car so we got to walk with friends and just no bus. Stories. You didn't have a bus. No, they have a bus, but it's yeah. more fun to just walk with them oh, really? and just yeah, oh, it's yeah. just it's just um, have fun with them. You yeah, know? yeah. And this painting is really really important and it's very special. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think I, I understand what you're saying. When I was young, I used to walk to school uh, when I lived in Navy House, and when I was very young. Um, and then after about the fifth grade, I you know we started mm -hmm. taking the bus, of course, you know. Yeah. After that. <laughs> but there was something special about walking to and yeah. from school. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, like you said, with your friends, big crowd. Yeah, you know? like a, you build your friendship with everybody. Yeah. And just, it's so yep. nice, yeah. Yeah, stop and play and do things Correct. on the way, and, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, is, is the city you grew up in, is it, was it a big city? The city is, well, Cuenca is the number three city uh, in Ecuador. Uh, it's a big city, um, but I would say it's the more, um, I don't know how to describe it, like a culture, there's a lot of culture there. Yeah. It's very historic. Yep. Uh, we talk about churches and that kind of stuff. Downtown is very popular there too. So um, it's one of those more beautiful cities in the country. Right. Uh, I invite everybody want to go there and visit Cuenca. It's, yeah. It's really, really nice. Sort of like a big mystic. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear it's a lot, a lot of um, American people living there. Not just American, but a lot of people decide to go retire. In, yeah, in Ecuador. Yeah, in you were Cuenca. saying that. I yeah. didn't realize that, that uh, there was a lot of uh, yeah. Americans that lived yeah. down. Yeah, it's about yeah. maybe about ten thousand American only wow. living in the city, and they yeah. got special groups. They hang out on the weekends. They find something to do. A lot of museums. A lot of museums in my city. Oh, okay. They love yep. museums and yep. they had a show. They got concerts. Very good. Very nice. Good. And like I say, um, anybody go there? It's yeah. a beautiful place to stay. All right, good. All right, next one. There you go. Okay, this is a more view from um, a little bit outside to the city. And they go down to downtown. You can see in the back to the painting is the church we talked about early. Uh, the cathedral, they, they the cathedral. Right? That's the cathedral. That's correct, yeah. So, like I say, it's a bit, very long way. You can go there. I live actually from the area, maybe about uh, 10 minutes was my the parents' house, so I just walk there and go to high school. There's a way to go to high school, so it's just a lot of memories and a lot of historic, and people just um, uh, conserve the same way it is, try to do um, the same architecture, don't change yep. too much, so they can keep the keep, the way keep that feel of the city. It's very, it's beautiful. It's uh, the colors are just wonderful. Um, is it really bright like that too? When it is. It is very bright. It's um, that city. I'm talking about like a year-round month. It's like a 65 degrees all year oh, round. Oh wow! So it's very, it's <laughs> so very that's nice. nice. Yeah. Some mornings get a little chilly, but yeah. 
after like uh, 12 o'clock, it's nice and warm, like a 70s, and yeah. just keep in there for a couple hours, and they go back to 60s. But well, now you're up in New England, you know what chili <laughs> really is. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. That is that is beautiful. That's uh, I and, and then once again, like I say, the detail, the colors. Uh, yeah. I just think it's fantastic. Now, are those separate panels? Yeah. So you painted each panel separately, and I and, did. It's painted separately. Yeah, correct. That's I, nice. Yeah, actually, this painting went to my friend's house. He also lived in in America. He lived in Queens. So, uh, like I say, back to the memories, he wanted to have something in his house to remind the city right. where we come from. Right. So he um, asked me to do this painting for him for his right. house. So, uh. I, do, I do a little bit of painting, uh, and I'm not <laughs> even close to your level. But uh, usually I paint the same sort of things, like uh, where we go crabbing down at Binless, yeah. uh, you know, yep. little things in the area, because I think if not my children, their children, their children after, a lot of these things, they come, they go, mm -hmm. and you know, you never, you never see it again, yep. you know, uh, and I want them to know this is where we lived. I'm sure like you, yep. like your children, it must be, you know, it must be good to be able to say, hey, yep. this is where I grew <laughs> up, this is, you know. Yeah, I have my kids, I have my kids, they have the chance to go a couple of times to Ecuador, which is my family there, and they really get in love for the city. Yeah. They really like a lot. Yeah. They must get a kick out of seeing the places that they've seen <laughs> in the paintings, too, yeah. in real life. You yeah. know what I mean? Which is, it's mm -hmm. great. Is there another one? All ah. right. All right. This, uh, this lady, they, she's uh, sitting in the, in, in the street. Uh, she um, is waiting for customers, actually. <laughs> so the one she has in the bottle is um, the stop to make uh, the Panama hats. The Panama hats, um, so many people think about they come from Panama. And actually, it come from my city, from Cuenca. Yeah, that's, that, <laughs> I remember you told me that. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know that. Yeah, um, I guess the time when they built the Panama Bridge, whatever you call it. Panama, Panama Canal. The yeah. Panama Canal. Uh, they export a lot of Panama hats from Ecuador to there. When was the time to the, they doing that? So everybody thought they were Panama yeah. hats. And actually, yeah. uh, they from Cuenca, Ecuador. And uh, this is special. Um, just remind me my grandma. Uh, when I was a little boy, like a five, six years old, I, I remember she uh, used to do that kind of Panama hats. Oh, wow. And selling. She lived in the third floor, so she just uh, put in the, uh, the lucky patio and um, wait for getting dry and that kind of stuff, the process. And she sell, like she, that was her business for so many years. What, what kind of material is it? What do they make Panama hats out of? Uh, it's a special kind of called to tojilla. I don't know exactly how yeah. saying it, but um, a special material. So is it like a reed, a plant, like something a, that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then they actually weave it into yeah. the. They have to dry. Oh, okay. They have to, they, they, they have to dry first, and they just everything made by hand. So wow, there's a lot of work and yeah, very very yeah. And people start doing that in, in Ecuador. Even they have now special machines to do that kind of stuff. But right. Is that a um, Artisans uh, working in that kind of material and do different kind of not just Panama hats. They do like a little baskets, little right. things for the bread and that kind of stuff. To see, I don't, I don't know if I've ever really seen a real Panama hat. Then I think probably you'd call it a replica. They make them out of cloth and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've well, seen them, but I've never seen one, yeah. you know, made out of a, a reed or a plant like yeah. material woven. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh -huh. that must be a that must be pretty cool. I, yeah, I mean, I always liked them. I think they're a great style. She's wearing one herself right now. Right? She is, actually. She yeah. is. I'm not sure she, she made that. So, yeah, it's, it's very nice. nice. Um, like I said, it just reminds me of my grandma when I was a little boy. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. All right. This painting, um, I talked about it before. Um, my dad is an artist. So, um, he's. That one is one of those my paintings from my dad. Uh, they call Chola Cuencana. Like uh, Cholas, this means uh, people, persons living in the in the middle of the country, and they got traditional kind of the dress up. And this is very traditional dancing they do right now. They go to out the streets and just dancing and just throwing flowers to the public. It's like oh, a okay. march. Yep. And you can see um, they have the basket with flowers. What they do is they dancing and just throw the flowers and the people yep. to um, celebrate um, Chola Cuencana means it's a um, festivity of the independence of Cuenca. Oh, okay. In, I'm very independence sure Day, like yeah. yeah, in November, uh, something 
number of terms, I'm, I'm really sure it is. So um, yeah, they did uh, the special dancing and just go on the streets and, and do this kind of ceremony. And your father did this painting, right? My, my dad did this painting, yeah. He's a really, really good artist. You can see the details and all that kind. You see yeah. the little flag and the little part for the lady on the left. Uh, she's the, um, they had the flag from Ecuador there. I don't know if you can see it from here. Yeah. Yep. That's great. And I should, I should have mentioned this earlier, but uh, you and your father did some murals down in uh, yep. Ecuador, uh, right? Yeah, in 2000, um, about five years ago, I went to visit my family. Uh, and I got my brother. His name is Paul. He's a priest. Yep. So we went there, and he asked us to do some big mural from his church, and uh, he gave me the idea what he wanted. So we, me and my dad, just uh, build it up and put it together, and wow. And we did for him. It's a How big was mural. the mural? The mural is about twelve feet by twelve feet, maybe. Wow. All yeah, right, that's big. big. Yeah. 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 Take a couple of weeks to finish that, but they come out really good. Yeah, I saw yeah. the picture. Yeah. Which I thought we, uh, well, maybe next show, maybe next time we'll do it. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll put that on there. That'd, that'd be great and to um, I wanted to mention too. Now that we're, we're talking about the murals, um, you've done some murals around in, in some of the restaurants and stuff around here, right? Yes, I, actually, I did. Um, I did a couple of murals for um, the place that's closed right now. It's my Rancho Restaurant. Uh, was here located in this area, and I did. Big, big selection of mirrors there. All the walls was in there. So, did that one. Also, I did for uh, um, a good friend of mine. Um, she owned the Bridge Market. Yep. And um, she kind of changed the um, the style inside the the place. So she asked me to do some food trucks and yep. that kind of stuff to um, tacos and right. that kind of stuff. So I did a mirror there. So everybody want to go and check it out. Um, Yep. The place is right there. It's my yard inside there. Yep. Place too. And uh, kind of funny, but uh, you know, I, I had heard when I was uh, working in Noank that there, you know, they said, well, there's a Spanish guy living at the Fishman <laughs> restaurant doing murals. Yep. And uh, that was you. That was me. Yep. Uh, and what you now? What did you do there? You did some clouds on the I, ceiling. I did some clouds on the ceiling. I did a couple of mirrors and a couple of different rooms and um, yeah. I Crabs did, and lobsters. Yeah, I, I did. That was beautiful. That was a couple of canvas with the uh, clouds. Yep. Let's hope they uh, let's hope they open up the restaurant eventually and you know people get yeah, to see it. Hopefully you know? they can so, open and know? see it. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's nice to have something that'd be great lasting like that. Yeah, you yep. know what I mean. That's that's really beautiful. Um, do we have any more pictures, Frank? Ah, we go. All right, this is another view from the cathedral we talked about early, and like I say, it's um, the most um, visit church from the tourists because it's um, beautiful outside and inside also. Um, there's a lot of um, palm tree. You can see the palm trees in there. Um, outside, right across the street, there's a Parque de las Flores we talked about earlier. Yep. So it's a lot, a lot of. Um, um, Culture there and place to visit. Is it um, is it rose colored like that? The building? Yes. Is it really that kind of rose? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that uh, is that a sort of native stone or is it painted that way or is I guess it's a brick. It's a brick. No kidding. It's, it's a, a brick. brick huh? Yeah. It's a brick. Yeah. Oh wow. You can not really see here, but um, it's a it's a brick. Oh, nice. Yeah. God, that must be that it's must be beautiful on a nice sunny day like oh, yeah. that, isn't it? Yeah. It must yeah. be. You know. Absolutely. Um, it's gorgeous. Is it more pictures, Frank? I guess that's, uh, is that that's it? all. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, I guess oh, that's boy. all. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so now, are you uh, are you working on anything right now? Well, right now I'm keeping busy with the restaurant right now and, uh, and yeah. missing my quiz, but I always try to find some free time to um, to um, do some paintings. So sometimes I do paintings for my friends for the friend's house, they asked me to, to do it. Like I said before, uh, people call me to do some guitar lessons. I try to keep them busy. Yeah. And, uh, I'm focused right now to my son. He's also a great musician. He play uh, saxophone. He's, oh, in the, okay. he's in the jazz band. Oh, wow. And um, it's funny because uh, his mom always asked me to teach him guitar, guitar. Right. But he decided to go from saxophone. Yeah, he wants to say, yeah. well, that's good. Yeah, you know? he's, he's really, really, really yeah. good. Yeah. And my daughter also, she is um, 
very good artist. She likes to do more paintings and that kind of stuff, oh, like uh, crafts and stuff like that. She's um, oh, that's great, job. man. That's nice to see it. You know, uh, yeah. Like you learn from your father. You know, uh -huh. she learns from her father. Yeah. That's 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 to. a wonderful thing to to I pass to on. Them, do you yeah. uh, do you ever do like? Um, well, I know you've done some murals and stuff for people, but do you ever do? Uh, do people ever ask you to for certain commission work, like certain paintings, or uh, you know, has anybody ever given you a picture and said, "Please paint this for me"? Or well, um, I have a couple friends. They do that. I did, um, but my dad, like I say, he's the most um, uh, valuable for that kind of artist. So he's the one who do that kind of stuff. So people ask me, say, "Leo, do you, can you do this for me?" Or can you ask you you dad? So what I do is I send a picture to my dad. Oh, uh, okay. And he do in Ecuador, and he sent me back, and I just... Uh, oh, nice. Friend, yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, and uh, how many pieces do you think you have, like, in your collection? Well, I would say at least um, 80 pieces, maybe. Do you really? Yeah. That many? I've been, I've been painting a lot. I, um, so many paintings go to Boston, yep. to a friend's house, and... Uh, I got a friend of mine, she got a collection in Boston, she got okay. so many paintings there, and I'm, I'm happy when I go see her, I see all the living room is uh, being to And I do want to mention too that uh, Leo also does uh, some modernistic mm -hmm. work, uh, a little more abstract. That's um, correct. I'm sorry we didn't get to that to this day, but maybe like I said, maybe on the next show we can you know, try it again, um, which was beautiful. Um, are you, uh, you're willing to do shows though, right? Uh, well, um, right, right now I'm planning to um, have a show getting together for maybe for June. Yep. So um, I get more details to you. Maybe you can yeah. pass on after that. Yep. But I'm trying to build um, a new show. It's going to be for, for June. Like yeah. I say, I have painted right now so I can hang it out and just. Uh, where where, go do you, from. where do you hope to have the show? Or do you know? Well, there's going to be in this area, maybe Mystic, Groton. Yep. So um, All right. get okay. more details very soon. All yeah? right. And then, um, like I said, thank you so much for the opportunity, Jim. Really, really appreciate uh, you having me on the show. No, and are you kidding me? This is, <laughs> you're exactly what you're exactly what I like to have on my show. I like the people like us that are, you know, we're just hardworking people that just, you know, but we have other interests. Um, you. you know, like I say, you know, to personify your aspirations, you know, make your dreams come true. Um, Absolutely. And uh, it's it's uh, it's it's not just the. You get a joy out of doing things. I get a joy out of writing my books. You get a joy out of doing your paintings and stuff. But you want to share them. You want Absolutely. people to see them. You want people to, uh, you know, to to appreciate, you know, the work and the effort that you put mm -hmm. into it. And uh, so I'm I'm hoping um, too down the road that you know we'll put some more shows together. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, be um, great. you can reach Leo. He left his email address up. Uh, if you're interested in any of his paintings or you'd like to uh, talk to him about it, um, your paintings are available, right? They're all, they they're are, all they available. Are. They so, are all available. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. um, there you go. There's, there's his email. Um, very, very talented artist. Uh, I would, uh, you know, encourage anybody who, uh, you know, would like to pick up a piece or whatever to get, get in touch with Leo and, uh, you know, I'm sure you guys can work it out, you know. Absolutely. Um, so it was a very great show. I thank you very much, Leo. Thanks so much, Jim. Again. Um, just Good a quick enough. note on the way out. I want to say, um, uh, Kappa, the Southeastern Connecticut Connecticut Authors and Publishers Association. We meet every third Monday at the Groton Regency at six thirty. Uh, anybody who has anything to do with uh, writing, or wants to write, or would like to learn uh, the process and uh, there's so much to it. Uh, we encourage people to please come on down and check us out. Um, and uh, once again, too, if, if you would like to be on my show or know somebody you think would, uh, would benefit or like to be on my show, uh, you can contact me, um, email me, let me know. Um, and I want to thank you very much and take care.